Well, we can go live now to Natalie Bennett, former Israeli Defence Minister. Thank you for joining us here on RT International today. I'd like to ask you for your response to Iran blaming Israel for killing Fakhrizadeh. Well, as a former defense minister of Israel, I would have uh, no idea specifically on this uh, particular uh, event. What I can say is uh, this guy uh, was not a benign nuclear scientist. His focus and expertise was the weaponization. That, that's what he, he did. That's his business of connecting uh, the nuclear part to the weapon. And uh, this is a very, very dangerous thing. Not only that, uh, we know that uh, whenever the IAEA inspectors wanted to meet him, Iran uh, again and again declined to allow him to meet these inspectors. So if he was just some benign scientist, uh, that would be, should have been no problem. We have an evil empire uh, that's been hijacked, right? The Ayatollahs that have hijacked a very good nation of Persians and taken it down a route of weaponization, nuclear weaponization, uh, a very dangerous one for the region and, if I may, for the entire world. Well, that certainly doesn't justify the killing of this man, does it? <clears throat> Again, I, I have no idea uh, who did it. What I can say is why it may have happened and why it's important and vital to stop this uh, ongoing effort, massive effort, of uh, nuclear weaponization. If the world wakes up one morning with Tehran having two, three, or five nuclear weapons, it's a terrible new world. It's a nightmare world for everyone, for the United States, for Russia, for everyone. It would mean that the entire region would start a nuclear arms race because no one else would want to be uh, without that sort of weapon. It would mean that Iran, who currently is, is fomenting terror all around the region and the world, would be able to do so, but not regular terror, nuclear terror. This is something the world has to stop. So you do think that the disruption of Iran's nuclear program was the goal of this attack. And what do you make of Tehran saying the program won't be suspended regardless? Look, uh, it's very clear that Tehran is keen and, and uh, very systematic about uh, progressing towards acquiring nuclear we weapons. Fakhri Zadeh wasn't just a, a, a ticking bomb, he was a ticking nuclear bomb. Um, and the world uh, using uh, economic pressure and uh, uh, policy and uh, other dimensions has to stop Iran from doing this. This is a, a regional uh, interest. We see all the regional players who are opposing uh, Iran's nuclear ambitions. It, it would just be uh, a nightmare for everyone and the world in its entirety has to stand up and stop this. Well, critics would say that your country's denial of the assassination is hard to believe, especially given uh, Benjamin Netanyahu had, to public, had publicly warned to remember Fakhrizadeh's name. You know, the one question I would ask is, if Fakhrizadeh was such a benign uh, nuclear scientist, wh why did he walk around and, and uh, run around uh, Iran in a motorcade uh, with uh, security guards as if he's some, uh, uh, you know, ultra-secret person. If you're just dealing with civilian nuclear uh, uh, capabilities, there's nothing to hide. Why was he hidden from the IAEA inspectors? W what has Iran got to hide? Iran's blamed all five murders of its nuclear scientists on Israel. Why would it blame your country for no reason? You know, I don't know uh, what, what their entire uh, line of thought is. What I can see is what their actions are. These people, uh, you know, the Ayatollahs are like an octopus sending their tentacles all across the region. They want to create a regional hegemony, all right? They're, they're looking back thousands of years. They want to be a hegemony over the entire region and turn it into, uh, uh, you know, a... Uh, 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 center of nuclear weapons that, that would create a, a weapons race that it took uh, decades to do away with the United States uh, uh, USSR nuclear race. Now we'd, we'd have a new one, but in a very rogue area. This is something that no one in the world uh, could want. Do you think that this assassination is going to make it harder for President-elect Biden to operate in the region as Iran says it will? 
No, quite the contrary. I, I'm sure that uh, President Biden, who has said time and again that he would accept no nuclear weapons in Iran, I'm sure he would not want Iran to go nuclear uh, with weapons on his uh, term. And in, in that sense, I think uh, uh, we certainly support any policy that will stem uh, Iran's uh, nuclear weapon ambitions. Uh, including a new deal, a good deal that would actually stop it, not a bad deal that would allow it. Uh, and in that sense, uh, I see no uh, issue here. Natalie Bennett, former Israeli Defense Minister, thank you.